Welcome to Tangling Together with me. We are continuing on TanglePatterns.com and today it is this pattern. Let's open the book and see where to put it. So this tangle can be used as a border or as a background. Um, so this is very versatile. I'm going to take my brown micron PN. This is a dark brown color. Let's find a place to uh, put this one. Um, I think it can be right there. So let's take that one. Uh, for this you need a, a border, kind of a ribbon to um, make this one. So I am making a line right here along this tangle up there. And I am going to make a kind of a crooked border here. But I'm gonna do it like that. And then I am going to draw this one up as well. So we are going to make two lines of this uh, kind of tangle or border. Um, let's end it off right here because we can. So the first step is these uh, arch things. So I am going to make like so all the way down my ribbon. There we go. And on this uh, end here we are making it the opposite way so that the arch touch where these comes down and goes to around the middle on the other one you could make it just like the above one but I'm gonna make it like this so that's the two lines of border let's do the up uh, the top border here done first so I'm going to make a line down here and then two lines following the arc of uh, the first one we did, this one. So I'm making one in the middle and then actually I'm just auraing, kind of auraing that line here, the same over here. And right here as well. So one in the middle and then kind of auraing the line. There we go. Then here we are going to place a smaller one in the middle of this first one we have. I'm going to do that in all of these. There we go. And then we are going to connect these with lines. So the outer and the inner are going to be connected. So I'm just going to make the edge of them first and then slowly work my way down the side of it and on the other side of it. Like that. And that's all there is to the pattern. So if you used it as a border, this top row here would be kind of done. You can color in this middle part here. Um, am I gonna do that? Actually I think I'm going to make uh, one more. This is not in uh, the pattern. 
the pattern just colors this all in. I'm just gonna make this little one here and then make the middle white just because I can. So I'm just making a big thick border here of the dark brown. But you can color, color the whole part in here if you want to. It's all up to you. And so the last one right here. There we go. Now I'm gonna do the same rip down here. So first these lines in this top triangle. So one down the middle and then aura the first line here. Doing that in all of these. There we go. Then this middle one. Again, in all of them. Like that. And the lines connecting these two arches. And again in all of these. And then I'm going to make this inner arch and coloring in this part here in between the arches. And if your lines are a bit crooked, you can uh, correct them when you color in like this. And the last one. Like that. So that's the pattern. Um, now I'm going to take my white jelly roll. This is the 08 that I'm using right here. And I'm going to fill this inner one just with the white.
there we go. I like that. Let's uh, go to the um, graphite pen, the pencil. This is just an HB graphite pen. And I'm just going to make some shading here around these arches. On all of these. Switch to my Tortillon. Here. Making it into a nice shade or shadow. Just work with it until you're happy with it. If you need more coloring in there, then you can always add some more with your uh, graphite pen. And I'm going to do the same here on the lower row of these. Skip the place right there. And over here. I want a bit more right there. Taking my Tochilion and making it into the shade that I want, the shadow that I want. Just working with it to see what I like and what I don't like. Um, I'm going to take my white charcoal and I'm going to place a little of it here around the darker inner arch. And I'm gonna do that on all of these. Let's start with that. Using my Tortillon to drag out the uh, white color of it a bit. Looks like it's uh, shining. I like uh, the look of that. So I'm dragging it out from the center. do the same thing up here Kind of like that. 
Um, I'm thinking of making um, a shadow here underneath. And I'm actually putting a lot of graphite in there and using my touchy young to soften it out. I like it to be a little darker up there and I'm gonna do that here as well on the top. And again using my touchy young to soften it a bit. Mostly at the bottom edge here of the, the shade or shadow. There we go. I like that. Very nice. Very nice. So that was the pattern for today. It was this one. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun with that one. So thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.